Hi there and welcome to this week's vlog. Uh, it's, we're here in Auckland, New Zealand. It's the sky tower behind me. And it's a great day, a little windy though. Hopefully it doesn't um, make the, the sound go a little bit weird. We had a, another board meeting yesterday, last night, um, and it was uh, really good. It looks like a lot of people have been really busy. Bridget in particular has met maybe five or six different people and um, she was just reporting on that. And one of the people that she met was uh, one of the professors at Auckland University, University of Auckland, uh, Professor uh, Brooks of Marketing, I think his name. Uh, and they seem to know each other uh, reasonably well uh, because he challenged Bridget and said, look, Bridget, you've been wanting to do your PhD for years. This seems like the perfect topic. And so Bridget was coming to us saying, well, what do you guys think of that? And of course, well, we're, um, we're very excited to have her uh, for the opportunity. Don't know what, what, if it will actually happen yet, but there's an opportunity there. What it does mean is that the university might pay uh, or fund her research, which would mean that would uh, free up some time uh, that she's currently spending on other activities to keep uh, her life going. She has two teenage boys. So yeah, exciting things for us. Um, and I think she would have just had another, another meeting with that professor just um, a few hours ago. So it'll be interesting to see what uh, happens from that. I just came off the phone, or I had a Skype meeting with uh, a guy called Elliot from Creative Commons Australia. If you remember from last week, there was a um, there was interest from them to include us in a case study for a publication that they've coming that they've got coming out in uh, early next year. And while we did kind of go down that uh, route initially. Uh, we found that we probably wouldn't be a good fit just because we we're so early down the track and they were wanting something um, that we had, had a bit more time to make decisions and progress. And that led us to uh, me asking, well, what kind of license from Creative Commons would you suggest um, for us to take? Um, initially, we kind of just thought that we would go for the attribution non-commercial license. If you want to have a look at that up, check out creativecommons.org and find out what that means. But he was suggesting that because the industry is so uh, stuck in their old ways of copyright, even if you made a, uh, gave your work away in, in just a straight attribution license, which just means as long as you attribute that you got the work from me, you can pretty much do anything you like with it. They still will want to come and make a formal arrangement with you because they just can't get their heads around uh, Creative Commons and doing it slightly differently. And he was referencing some other examples to do with a photographer um, in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a blockbuster movie. So he was suggesting, well, look, because of the extra um, marketing and, and, and groundswell that you'll get from doing it this way uh, because if you had a non if you had a, a just a straight attribution license you're not worrying if people make money from it um, it just means that a whole lot of people that were kind of on the fringes and and people that are you know there to make money um, will take it up a lot quicker typically what happens is it's kind of a bit of a gray area because uh, if you're like an amateur theater company is that like you know you might make a couple a couple hundred or a couple thousand dollars, but you're not making a piece of money. You may lose money. You just, most of all, you're just you're just there for um, to support the industry and and uh, break even and the, and the like with schools and things like that as well. So he was saying, well, consider it because um, you're likely to get what you want anyway, uh, and can also consider the share alike um, part. There's a one of the four kind of different things. You can have the attribution, you have the non-commercial, you have a no derivatives, and then you have a share alike. Don't bother trying to understand, just go straight to Creative Commons and watch some of the videos about explaining what all that means. But share alike um, may mean, and this is my question to him, uh, if we do a share alike it would mean that the people that are being a bit sneaky 
taking our IP, our intellectual property, and then selling it to other people um, as a complete musical that they can license, because we don't have a non-commercial license um, part of it, uh, that would stop them from doing that, I think. So we're wrestling at this stage just with how we're going to move forward and which license to pick, um, because it will have a large bearing on what's going to happen um, and how people can use it. Uh, and potentially the, the money that we get back from it. But, yeah, I have, I, I'm, I'm tending, at this stage, <clears throat> this, tending at this stage to agree with Elliot. He may be right. Uh, and that would be closer to an open source musical as well. When we say open source, that the, the attribution, share alike license would be the closest thing to a software, open source software uh, kind of concept. So, Maybe it works out anyway, who knows. But yeah, that's it from us, really. Um, I, just another point, um, I know some of you would be wanting to know what's happening with Shearer. Can't tell you just yet, although we have made a decision um, about that, but we just need to make contact with Shearer first. Um, and then we'll let you guys know what's happening probably next week. So have a great Christmas. Um, I may not see you before then. And... Yeah. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. See you around.